Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why your vehicle is not starting after putting the jumper cables backwards on the car battery. If you accidentally got the polarity backwards and you see sparks flying, you see smoke coming out of the jumper cables and you're getting a burning smell and now your vehicle is not starting, I'm going to tell you guys why. On some vehicle, there's a circuit protector called a fusible link. The purpose of the fusible link is to protect the circuit when it becomes overloaded. The fusible link looks just like a battery cable, except it is much thinner. You're going to see either one, two, or three strand on it, and it's going to be connected to the battery cable. So when the fusible link becomes overloaded, the wire actually melts and it breaks the circuit, and this is how it protects the electrical components on your vehicle. So if you can't find the fusible link, which is supposed to be somewhere around the battery terminal or on a battery cable, then you're going to have what is called a mega fuse. A mega fuse is going to be these jumbo looking, boxy looking uh, fuse, and they're going to be rated at 40 amps, 80 amps, 100 amps, 120 amps, and so on. So again, if you accidentally set the uh, jumper cables backward, the Omega uh, Fuse internal wire is going to melt and this is going to protect the electrical components on your vehicle. If you replace the fusible link and you replace the Omega Fuse and your vehicle is still not starting, it is time to inspect the battery cables. Maybe when you accidentally set the jumper cables backward, the uh, battery cables can become so hot to the point that it can actually melt. So inspect the uh, battery cables and check the uh, insulator, make sure it is not burnt, make sure it is not melted, and make sure there is no open. And also, if you see a lot of hot spot on the uh, battery cable, it's going to look extremely discolored. Maybe the whole entire uh, internal wires on the inside became so bad to the point where current cannot really flow through it. And this is why your vehicle is not starting. If the battery cables look fine, and you replace the fusible link, and you replace the uh, mega fuse, maybe you're very unlucky, and maybe you accidentally fried your engine control module, or other modules such as body control module, and so on. Before you replace the engine control module, or any module, because that's going to be a very expensive repair, make sure you conduct a visual inspection. Make sure to check the uh, battery terminal, on the battery post, make sure you inspect the uh, battery cables, make sure you check the uh, starter cable, basically that's going to be the cable going from the starter straight to the positive side of the battery post, make sure you check the uh, alternator uh, cables as well, make sure you check the uh, engine uh, wiring harness as well, and so on. There are a lot of reasons why people accidentally set the uh, battery jumpers backward. And one of the reasons is going to be maybe they jumped the uh, battery at night and they couldn't see, so they accidentally got the polarity backward. Nowadays, a lot of battery jumper comes with an indicator and it'll tell you if you got the uh, connection set properly or not. So when you set the uh, cable correctly, the light will turn green. That means you got the connection set properly. If it turns red, that means you need to flip the cable around. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thanks for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.